Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey, one, good, vibrations, at your service, to describe for you a concept that I cannot take credit for. I have, I heard this, read about this in, in an article in, I believe it was QST magazine, probably way back in the 70s or maybe even as recently as the 1980s. But basically what it is, is a linear perception CW filter, which involves the use of a stereo headset, which uh, has a high-pass filter in the right-hand channel and a low-pass filter in the left-hand channel. And these can be integrated circuit filters with a smooth ramp response, not an abrupt cutoff, but a more or less a, a a linear ramped response frequency here versus amplitude here high pass low pass and right and left appear reversed in this video of course because you the red happy face are staring right at the viewer which is you um, whether your face is red or happy or not is entirely none of my business but uh, that's why it right goes over to the right of your face and left over to the left of your face. And when you're looking towards yourself, okay, you get it. You get it, okay? The idea is this. At the very center of this continuum lies the frequency that you want, that you prefer as your center frequency. I happen to prefer 700 Hertz. That means that along these ramps, this one and this one, the attenuation is equal at 700 Hertz. At frequencies higher than 700 Hertz, the displacement goes over towards the right hand side of a line which seems to pass right through your ears and right through the center of your head. The higher the pitch of the tone, the further away from you towards the right the sound will appear. This is for CW, of course. For, for voice, it would be a scream to listen to a voice like this. It'd be like some sort of a, a, a movie production, psych, psychedelic, aud audidelic, okay? Audio psychedelic. But that's not what it's for. It's for CW to separate not only the frequencies but to actually give the frequencies spatial significance the lower the pitch of the tone the greater the gain in the left hand channel and the lower the gain in the right hand channel and the further over this way so 300 hertz might be here 200 hertz here 100 hertz here and you could also stretch it out more or less um, but I would recommend that you go a little bit faster on the high end say instead of 200 Hertz per division here you go 400 Hertz here so it would be 1100 Hertz here 1500 Hertz here 1900 Hertz 2300 Hertz and so you hear this sound along a continuum not only of frequencies but of pitches and you could of course vary this 50 Hertz per division if you have a narrow filter or 100 Hertz per division 200 Hertz per division depending upon the extent of spatial separation you want and how congested the band is but when there are a lot of signals on you'd hear your 700 Hertz right in the center of your head the frequency that you want and that you prefer would be right in the center of your head coming right out from the middle of your gray matter or black matter or purple matter or whatever color your matter happens to be as you go off towards the right uh, you get a higher pitched response 
So higher pitched tones would be here and lower pitched here. You get my drift. You're hearing signals in a spatial sense along a line, hence linear perception, CW. Not my original idea, but I still think a cool one nonetheless. Stangibalisco, W1GV, signing off, saying 73, which means best regards in ham radio jargon, and so long, which, wherever along this line it appears, inevitably comes out as da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.